Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, are we asking questions to God back in our home after church service and when nobody hears? Are we questioning Him by saying, you know, God, can you really heal me? I've been sick for so long, I don't know if I can be healed. Lord, can you really restore my finances because I, I don't know where, where I'm going to get this money from. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bill. Lord, can you really do this? You see, sometimes we really are not sure that he can do what he says he could do. So, you know, we have to conceive the truth in our heart. We have to conceive the fact that he can do it and start seeing yourself with all your bills paid. Start seeing yourself walking and running and jumping, all the stuff you used to be able to. See yourself doing that again because God has healed you. We need to see what we're asking for inside of our spirits. Because once we conceive it, we can receive it. Once we conceive it, we can receive it. Because all of a sudden, you start seeing things differently. You know, we have such small dreams compared to God. We need to open up wide and fast our dreams that we have. Because we're so limited. We limit God by not being able to see things that we want Him to give us. Like if you want that new house, you say, oh, Lord, I just see myself in that house. I see myself putting my feet up in a chair, looking out the pond behind the backyard or, or living in, uh, by the water or just having a nice house. You have to see yourself in it, living it with a beautiful garden, whatever you want. See it in your spirit because once you see it, you don't limit God. If you can't see it, we limit God. We limit God by not seeing anything. You see, God always put things in the mouths of prophets before he did anything. So prophesize over yourself and say, I thank you, Lord God. I know I'm going to be debt free in just next year. I thank you, Lord God, that I am going to be free of this cancer in the name of Jesus. By the end of this year, I will have no cancer in this body. Whatever it is that you're facing, whatever it is you're looking at, I'm going to have me a brand new job. I'm, all this would be behind me and I have a new job making more money than I ever thought. I can see me walking into the office. I can see my desk area. I can see it all clear and I thank you Lord God for this vision that you have given me. If you can conceive it in your spirit, God can surely give it to you. Don't limit God. Don't dream small. Dream big. Dream so much bigger. Don't ask for a little boat. He may give you a toy boat. Ask for the big boat. Ask for the big boat. The big dream that you've always had. Don't limit God by limiting yourself. Amen and amen. Let me pray for you. If we need health and healing for our body, let me say a healing prayer for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are my healer. Your word says, I sent my word and I have healed you. Thank you for the healing power of your word, the healing power of your presence. I thank you, Lord God, that as my shoulders and my neck hurts and I can see, I can feel all inflation just coming off and the pain residing in my body, that I have no more indigestions and indigestion or lung problems. I can breathe clearly in the name of Jesus. All arthritis in my hips and knees and legs and hands, Lord God, has gone. The bones are strong and I see my bones being strong. I see everything in my body strong again in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, for any cough that has been hanging, hanging on and lingering on, that that cough has to go in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, that knees that are healed and that don't hurt, that the, all the ligaments around it, the muscles, the bones are healed in Jesus' name, that you can walk straight and run and jump because see it in your mind and then God can do it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I'm on, um, this is Rise and Shine. I'm on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Look me up, share me with someone. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.